Those of you who grew up during the 1960s most likely remember it as a simpler time, even through all the chaos that made up much of the decade. The 60s were measured by those quintessential moments of childhood, like playing outside all day during the summer, riding your banana bikes, taking family vacations in the station wagon, and maybe most notably, the fascination with the moon landing. Baseball has never been more exciting than it was in 1961, when Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle were in a race to break Babe Ruth's record of 60 home runs in a single season. That all changed on October 1st, when during the last game of the regular season, Maris hit his 61st home run against the Boston Red Sox. You might also remember collecting and trading baseball cards during this time, because Topps baseball cards were huge. For many kids living in the 60s, their first taste of freedom and adventure came on the wheels of a bike. The bike of choice? The Schwinn Stingray. With its high-rise handlebars, the banana bike looked like a chopper motorcycle, which instantly made it the coolest ride on the street. Every kid around had this bike on their wish list. Do you remember drinking Tang? The orange powder was poured into water where it magically became a neon orange drink that tasted super sweet. It doesn't sound too appetizing, but when astronaut John Glenn was chugging Tang while making his historic first trip around the globe in 1962, every kid knew they had to drink it. With Tang being the drink of the astronauts, the food of the astronauts was called space food sticks. They were a common lunchbox item, and they had a weird, chewy texture that tasted a little bit like peanut butter. What about the family station wagon? Every middle-class family had one. Do you remember going to the drive-in and sprawling out with your siblings in the back? Then there was the family road trip you would take over the summer. And back then, there were no seatbelt laws so you could actually lie down in the back on long road trips and color, read, or just lounge around. For those of you who couldn't wait to grow up and become responsible for making your own meals, there was the Easy Bake Oven. Kenner released the iconic toy in 1963, complete with recipes to bake your own cookies, cakes, and other confections. During the 1960s, jello molds were standard on many dinner tables and a culinary aversion for most kids. On the one hand, they were jello, which was great, but somewhere in that jiggly gelatin, there were things like fruit, marshmallows, nuts, and even vegetables. Jello even introduced savory flavors like celery, mixed vegetable, and Italian salad. Swanson TV dinners were your mom's favorite last-minute dinner. Main dishes included turkey, Salisbury steak, and fried chicken. In the 1960s, the TV dinners even had a compartment for dessert, which was normally a fruit cobbler or brownie that would be scalding hot compared to the main dish. If you were a kid in 1964 and your parents owned a television, you saw the Beatles make their American debut on The Ed Sullivan Show. Their arrival was insane, and the response was known as Beatlemania. Their mop-top style haircuts inspired kids to either cut their hair the same way or buy Beatle wigs. Their ankle-high boots also became all the rage, and then there were the collarless jackets, which inspired many people to wear them as well. Hosted by Dick Clark, American Bandstand was a must-see television show for every kid growing up in the 1960s. Not only did the show help us discover new artists like Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder, Sonny and Cher, and Tina Turner, but it also taught us hot dance crazes like the Locomotion, the Watutsi, and the Mashed Potato.
During the 1960s, roller skating was big, with some kids still using metal skates that strapped onto their shoes. They certainly weren't very smooth when it came to rolling down the street, and they never fastened quite right, but the adjustments made it possible to never outgrow them. Sea monkeys, a brand name for brine shrimp, were sold as novelty aquarium pets. Thanks to the genius marketing strategy that involved placing ads in comic books, in which they bore very little resemblance to the real-life crustaceans, they became one of the most in-demand pets of the decade. The game that had everyone laughing, and which was usually the centerpiece to every party, was the wildly popular Twister. Other top toys of this era were Hot Wheels, Barbie, and G.I. Joe, along with tons of space-related toys as kids across America dreamt of becoming astronauts. Trolls were also everywhere in the 1960s, they became one of the best-selling toys between 1963 and 1965. Danish fisherman and woodcutter Thomas Dam invented the doll in 1959 for his daughter. It became so popular, his company began producing the plastic dolls, calling them Good Luck Trolls. And once they hit the American marketplace in the 1960s, they were everywhere. The space race was on every kid's mind during the 1960s. We all wanted to grow up and become astronauts. We even watched all the space launches, landings, and re-entries on school televisions. Astronauts were our heroes, and when astronaut Neil Armstrong finally set foot on the moon and said, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, it was like seeing science fiction come to life. If you grew up during the 1960s, these memories are hard to forget. What are some other things you remember that were special about the 1960s? Share your memories down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching.